Ah, outside video. Yay. Yes. <coughs> There's why the camera's there in the door. <laughs> One of the six. Anyway, <coughs> um, thought I'd do um, an outside video just because uh, it's nice out. And um, greenhouse. I feel I could sit in there. Anyway, um, so I didn't have internet for two days, but no one seemed to miss me. <laughs> Except for old fan, of course. Yay. Yes, lovely, charming. Yeah. Had those for years. I have more of them now. I spread them about. Where's the other one? It's another one that has a flower. <laughs> yeah, I can't find it now. Uh, there's some there, but they're not having flowers. I know there's another one somewhere with a flower on it, damn it. Yeah, there's some there, no flowers. Some there, no flowers. Yeah, this one didn't do too well. This was not a good location. Yes, failure. Um, so, the greenhouses. This works quite well, actually. This old doghouse of the neighbors. It's quite warm in there. So, it's a good idea. I like it. <coughs> Cat. Where's the other iris at? I forgot. Do you remember? Hmm? Do you? I guess not. Oh, it's over there inside the enclosure. Um, uh, I guess we could take a walk over there. For no good reason. It's my little greenhouse, but it's starting to... It's got a bunch of holes in it. So, uh, I have to get a new skin for it, or I'll just make something, I suppose. Uh, but it does help, all these, especially this year, so we had all this stupid cold weather, so it did save stuff. Yeah, here's one. Yeah. Yes, very nice. Kind of, uh, like an antique purple or something. So, I'm just painted the gas pipe because they're going to be checking for leaks. thought I would pull the poison ivy off of it and everything else. I don't know if, the, don't know if this paint's going to dry though. It's really old paint. Um, well, it's a mixture of paints. So I painted that too. Anyway, so this is where the other camera is. And uh, such. So this really should be kind of a nice area once Stuff starts happening. You know, summer. Birds, whatnot, butterflies, all that kind of stuff. This, who knows? Let's see how it goes. Alright, so I'm gonna to get to a subject or two. Um, I gotta do a comment video just because people are such fucking cunts. And uh, you know, somebody ought to just call them on it. Oh, with their little typey bullshit. Fucking I want to say something politically incorrect, but you know, you can't say that shit. And you know, that's the thing that's gotten, you know, it has gotten really a little crazy. I don't even know if the, the trans community, <laughs> if they have one, maybe it's as broken as the atheist community. Um, <clears throat> you got to figure they can't be happy with some of this stuff because it just, uh, you know, it's going to piss people off. And, and that's, you know, that's not to their advantage, certainly. Uh, well, I guess I'll use this chair. It's kind of big, though. I don't know if it'll fit in here. I have to find my small chair. Well, I have small chairs. Come on. What am I fucking around for? Yeah, over here. Uh, sorry. Oh, you know. I didn't get shit out of my damn frickin' asparagus this year. Uh, you know, they, they came up too early, so, I mean, a couple of them managed to have a decent stock now, but, I mean, last year I got monsters. The monster one there, I see they're coming up now, but they're late. They really didn't like the weather. So, you know, I have to let them, so they get stronger and such. Uh, Chimenea fell over again. <laughs> I gotta, might have to get rid of this crab apple tree. I just don't, don't know if I want it here. But anyway, I guess.
guess I planted it, but I wasn't thinking straight or something. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, there's stuff to talk about. I, what I, you know, there's big subjects and little subjects. Yeah, I got these stupid bulbs that didn't come up at the right time, so, so I got daffodils in May. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Yeah, I guess it's doable. Yeah, I, I hear you over there, cat. Complaining. Yeah. Oh, there's the other one. I'll go over and talk to him, tell him, explain to him something or other. If they do. These things have not grown green shit yet, and that's troublesome. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> they really should be getting green. So I'm afraid this plan did not work. Let's see, it's looking like if I break one. It's, yeah, it's still still green in there. See, it's green in there. So I think they're going to do something. I'm just not going to do it while I'm watching, maybe. All right, this video is just not... Uh, well, I was afraid of that. So I didn't have internet for two days. I don't know if I told you that part. Verizon fucked something up down there. And they fucked it up so substantially that, uh, yeah, turned into two days. And um, it was really quite annoying. Yes, it's really quite crowded in here, isn't it? Yeah, I have to come up with a better plan. Um, but it is quite nice. It's a, uh, oh, Jersey mosquito, or is that, it must be like an Asian. It's too early for Jersey mosquitoes. Those Asian bonky bonky fever mosquitoes. Right. <clears throat> I guess this won't be a mosquito proof area. But anyway, so look at here. All kinds of different plants. These here are marigolds and zinnias. Those are tomatoes, but those these tomatoes are doing better than those tomatoes, so there's more tomatoes over here. Um <laughs> yeah, I probably won't need those. I can get my way up on the road or something if they survive. Uh, beets. Very good beets. Beets, beets. All kinds of stuff. So anyway, it's just very nice in here. Uh, you know, it's not quite sunny today, so it's not as sun esque as it is, can be, but it's, uh, it's quite nice. Uh, you know, if you go for that kind of thing, which I sort of do. I like it warm. Um, so anyway... So the last video I watched before my internet's collapsed <laughs> was a Tommy from the Bronx video, and it just brought back so many thoughts. I mean, it just was like, you know, I did a lot of that living in trailers stuff in the summers. And, um, you know, he's doing this uh, Winnebago cross-country go, go to meetups or sporting events or something. He's trying to contrive some excuse, I guess, for purchasing this thing, so he... So, so the whole, I guess what bothers me is that, that there's a whole bunch of this story that you don't get to know, and so the story doesn't make any sense. Because, you know, Tommy was sort of in some sort of financial uncomfortableness. <laughs> you know, he lost his other job and this and that, health stuff and all this crap. And all of a sudden, a couple of years later, you hear, well, yeah, I bought this 40-foot thing, Trumpabago, yeah. Yeah, Trumpabago. Um, uh, you know, luxury. But 40 feet just kept running in my head. 40 fucking feet. Who buys a 40 foot Winnebago? I mean, it's a. You know, just a regular 20 foot Winnebago is enough trouble navigating uh, any kind of non interstate. I mean, as soon as you get off the interstate, even a 20 foot thing is can be a hassle, you know, and especially when it's tall, you got to worry about bridges, and, you know, 40, 40 feet means any bridge that has a, you know, a bottom to it, you got to be really aware of, because your, you know, your wheelbase is end up raising you above that, well, anyway, 40 feet is just huge, nobody wants to, I mean, trucks are built in pieces, so they can, you know, move around, it's a brick, 40 foot brick, uh, you know, 
He came down my driveway and never get back out again. But he couldn't get here anyway because he couldn't get up the hills. 40 feet. Please. <laughs> it's just... Well, anyway, so you're just saying, who, who buys that? But, like, I don't know, one of those uh, monkey people. Um, what's his name? Paul McCartney or something. Um, but regular people don't buy that kind of crap, right? I mean, what could, what, that, what could you possibly do with it? It's just... You know, even trailer parks are not equipped for 40-footers. You know, they don't have a whole lot of slots for 40-foot vehicles. And you pay up the nose, I would imagine. But, you know, it says hey, it gets 8 to 12 miles to a gallon. 12? Yeah, in your dreams, 12 miles to a gallon. <laughs> Fuck you. Downhill. Yeah. Um... So anyway, he's got this giant thing, and he's now contriving it into some sort of, yes, well, I'll make a Patreon, and I'll go visit the monkeys on YouTube, these, these jarheads, these retards, called his fans. You know, our fans are fucking dysfunctional retards, and, uh, uh, you know, sorry, fan people, but uh, yeah, you're all broken fucking losers. Uh, you know, who watches, who watches, you know, look, I mean, you know, at least my videos are a little bit philosophical, I mean, but Tommy's, Tommy's going after the retard audience, I mean, you know, he did some kickboxing videos, and, you know what I'm saying, and a whole, you know, Bronxy Tommy Italian thing is, okay, fine, but, I mean, who's that appeal to but a retard? The drunken peasants? All right, they must have some money because they're keeping TJ comfortable. But you're just saying, who who with a job and money or any kind of, you know, who? <laughs> you know, who, who, who can watch this shit? I mean, I watched some drunken peasants the other day, and it was like, you know, it was just it was wasted fucking 20 minutes. I mean, you know, 15 or whatever I watched. But, you know, I just kept waiting for a, one joke. Could we have one good joke? No. Not one. And Paul's ego was there. Yeah. Well, anyway, I guess he's just going full fuck fuck hard too. Um. But you know, he's another guy who. You know, he could have been a contender. <laughs> you know, you're just kind of like, you know, Paul's ego has got a brain and a, he's got a voice and he's got this and he's got that. And maybe he could have, you know, but. Yeah. You go with the you go where the money is, I guess, and the money is with the morons that are willing to give you buy a stupid T-shirt that says "I'm a retard" on it. And, okay, so fine. Um, so anyway, just uh, disappointing. But the Tommy thing, like I said, I just can't. So so I'm just saying, I I, I wish him luck, just because I was thinking in terms of, <clears throat> you know, I always aspire to do something interesting. You know, in my youth, I would. Um, you know, I, I rode motorcycles a bit, and so I really had a, I really had the, you know, the, the, the very appeal to me that just this idea of just living on a, a motorcycle and just traveling, and you go somewhere and you stay there for six months, and then you go somewhere else and stay there for six months, probably wouldn't work out because you either you meet people you like or you meet people you hate, and it, you know, so if you like them, then you want to stay or you care and all this stuff, and you want to just abandon people. So, I mean, it gets complicated, so it probably doesn't work anyway. But, I mean, as a, just an ideal kind of adventure thing, it did appeal to me, even though I really hate traveling. But I, I liked, you know, motorcycles. You get air and stuff. It's, you know, I don't get motorcycle sick. I just kind of get car sick a little. Um, but, you know, I really learned to hate, you know, traveling in cars just because so I was... Too much of that eight hours straight kind of thing, eight, ten hours straight in a car, just, ugh. No. <laughs> you know, it, it didn't do anything good for me. Um, just, just hurt my brain. Uh, I was in the back, so it's carbon monoxide maybe or something. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't care for it much uh, well, at all. Um, but anyway, so just this whole Tommy thing just brought back all that kind of stuff and just all the issues with trailers and, you know, Winnebago's are nice in the sense that, yeah, you could park on the side of the road, take a nap, and you're set, you know, or find a, any parking lot will do, and you're, you know, 
but you know you it's a hassle because you want to go to the store or something you got no vehicle you know so it's better to have like a trailer you're hauling because then you can dump it somewhere and you can go do something for a week and then come back and you know no big deal so at minimum you got to put a motorcycle on the back of it or something just so you can get around you know this is just too big a fucking hassle to 40 foot. Oh, let's go to the grocery store. Oh, well, can't get in the freaking parking lot. <laughs> you know, but I can just, you know, even getting to sporting events or something. I, I mean, I can just imagine the traffic. I mean, you know, what, how you much you got to pay for insurance? I wouldn't insure a fucking, you know, okay, okay. Tommy from the Bronx shows up <laughs> in my insurance company. Yeah, yo, <laughs> yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go visit retards all over the country. You in my forty-foot vehicle? Uh, no, I'm not insuring that. You not? I mean, how, you know, every time he takes a left turn, you know, he's just going to be wiping somebody out, it's rearranging cars and moving shit around, taking out street signs. I mean, I mean, maybe he's a professional truck driver. I don't know, but you really need to be forty foot. You need to be. You need to really be on your shit. 40 feet. I mean, 40 feet is just a huge thing to move around. And the only downside with trailers is, is everything's backwards, so at least with a 40 foot vehicle, it's not all backwards, but, you know, a continuous one. You know, with trailers, it's, you know, you go turn the wheel this way to go that way, that kind of thing. It gets a little bit complicated because it's not intuitive, but, uh, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's just a hell of a lot easier to, you know, do the angle thing. You just can't do the angle thing with 40 feet. 40 feet. I just, I can't imagine almost any turn in this town that you could take a 40 foot vehicle and make the turn without cutting the corner off. I just don't see how you can do it. The roads are too narrow and there's just no fucking way. 40 feet is a bitch. Uh, anyway. It's a risky bitch. Let me just put it that way. I mean, unless you do it just right. You know, you got to swing way out. And, uh, like I said, they got the signs way too close to the road. You're going to nail some signs for sure. All right, well, anyway, that, that was the last video I saw, and it just occurred to me that uh, it was rather bizarre. Is this still working? Yeah. Camera's really not working right, but I'm using it anyway. This is, you know, it's, it seems to be working good enough. So, um... Yeah, I guess I, you know, so I'll do a comment video later, and uh, that brought up some stuff. But I was just thinking, you know, about different things. You know, some something brought up the idea of just posters, you know, and how people just live by the slogan. <clears throat> and when I was a kid, I didn't have any posters on my wall, so I think my mother said, "Oh, my kid is abnormal because he doesn't have posters on his fucking wall." So she bought me a poster, and it was a. Uh, Life is a journey, not a destination. So that was the, so. I had a poster on my wall that said that, and I kept mulling that one over. As <clears throat> I just kept saying, no, the destination is you're fucking dead. Uh, if you're, you know, at all lucky, you might get some kind of little marbly thing in a green place somewhere that might say something like, uh, "This Gary was here, but he's not here anymore because he's dead." <laughs> you know, right below, look below, he's down there, rotting, um, slowly decaying and such. So that was his destination. Um, and then the bigger picture to me was the destination is whatever the epitaph is, you know, the story of your life, whatever the little narrative is, the, you know, Red Riding Hood or Goldilocks. How come they don't have any better, like, male fairy tale -y thingies? Is Hansel and Gretel, well, that's like two girls, right? Hansel was, you know, pussy. Um, yeah, and the rest of them are like Peter sticking his thumb and shit, and I don't know, they're all kind of little... <laughs> yeah, there's no real good ones. You know, like G.I. Joe uh, as a youth. Um, or something, something booch. You know. Uh... <clears throat> But anyway, that's all you got is your stupid little narrative, and, and your narrative is what did you accomplish in your life? Did you did you have any merit? Did you, you know, or were you just a pain in the ass? Were you a blight? Did you just, you know, fuck up 
your wife's life or your, her destiny? <laughs> did you ruin what? Did you make a mess where? Where did you shit or puke? And, you know, what kind of fucking residue did you leave behind? You know, what kind of sticky, wet paint? Um, but that's your destination, is what, you're, what, uh, what is left of your life's vibration in the world. I mean, how did you vibrate the world? Did you make a good note or a sour note? So it's all about the destination. This journey shit is bullshit. The journey is really quite... Who cares? The destination is you're laying the foundation that other people are going to walk on. You know? And did you lay quicksand for the future? Or did you lay, you know, some kind of painted asphalt? I don't know. Fiberglass. Something durable, something elastic, something, you know, that you could fall on without getting a horrible rug burn. Um, yeah, what did you do, fucker? Besides the destination, as you're stuck with is, is uh, you know, what kind of residue did I leave? <laughs> you know, something, uh, something salty and sweet, or something just putrid and foul. Um, what kind of aftertaste will the world have? <laughs> you know, uh, is it going to be bubble gum or puke flavor? Something like that. Uh, I don't mean to be gross, but I just feel kind of gross. It just happens. Get older. Um, something like that, anyway. Ooh, the sun. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, so it'll be nice anyway. It gets up to like 150 degrees or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sauna. Cool. Alright, it's cheap man sauna, but that's okay. Anyway, it's such a deal. You know, I don't know. <clears throat> Sometimes you get stuff at the store and you just say, I don't know, you could have sold that to me for twice as much and I still wouldn't have bought it. You know. And this was one of those kind of deals. I would have paid even more. No doubt about it. This was a bargain. Um, and, uh, yeah, such. Yeah, watering things. These are giant uh, Mexican sunflower things, but they're not really sunflowers. I call them sunflowers, but frankly, uh, no. Because they last longer than sunflowers, and they don't droop, and they're smaller. And, uh, really quite nice, actually. I don't know if it's necessary to head start those because they don't seem to really like it that much. But we'll see. Everything's a little bit not not where it should be this for this time. I got a bunch of these hibiscuses that's over here, but uh, man, half of my hibiscus got killed by the something. You know, I did something. I made a mistake, or somebody made a mistake. So anyway, it's getting cloudy in here again. But, um, yeah, this is a good city. Look at the frame, it's all painted. <laughs> yeah, 60 bucks. I mean, 60 bucks, you can't, you know, can't go wrong. It's really made well. And uh, has really good tie downs. These things go a foot and a half into the ground. Very nice. Alright, interesting. Freezing out here. Wow. Big difference. Huge difference. All right. Anyway, so other my apple, other trees I've salvaged here. I'll have to put some protection on this. Put some better. Put in a better pot. These are some sort of fruit tree of some kind. It might be a pear. Don't know. But yeah, it needs a little work. <laughs> There's not much to it. But this one did well. So I transplanted this one. I was afraid. You know, when I dug it up, it's just the roots look like hell. But uh, it's looking pretty good. So that was a success. Oh yeah, I pulled all that shit out of... There was a bunch of these prickers and everything growing in there. And so none of these bushes ever flowered. Because they were just covered with a bunch of pricker bushes and shit. And I didn't realize they have uh, kind of a nice flower. So, that's another bonus. 
It really is getting nice here. <clears throat> the forget me knots were really good this year. Look at that. A little trail of them there. Quite lovely. <laughs> yeah. It used to be like that before the deers took over. There'd be forget me knots, then it'd be all daisies, and then it'd be all black eyed Susans. It was really something. Neat thing about these forget me knots, look at these little white ones. They're just little, little patch of them here and there. But they don't reproduce white. I mean, if you save the seeds from the white ones, you don't get white ones. So it's like an albino thing or something. Ah, there's one of those hawk moths. Look at that. You're out early there, buddy. They look like hummingbirds. They, they you know, have a very high... Well, maybe in the camera it'll be a lower frame rate. Actually, you'll be able to see their wings. But I've never seen them feed on uh, forget-me-nots. This guy's really early. But see, they really look like a hummingbird. I mean, their body shape, everything. It's a fucking moth. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, that was a bargain. We got free mothing. All right, now the video is... The video has justified itself by providing a free moth. Ooh, in the sun. <gasps> cool, 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 cool. Too bad I don't have the regular camera. But you get what you get. Can't have everything. All right, but this, that, that, you know, that moth isn't all that big, right? I mean, he's not that big. All right, but the caterpillar for that fucker, five inches long. Yeah, five inches long. Big, huge, giant. I had one, one year they ate, the they ate a whole tomato plant one night. I mean, a whole six foot tomato plant. And, and it left big, giant pieces of shit. <laughs> I mean, it was amazing. See, they're related to the uh, tobacco, whatever, the most famous tobacco-killing worm thing. And, uh, yeah, see, these were supposed to be white. They all came out red, but that's all right. I wanted red ones, too, so. Hopefully, the next batch will be more white. Yeah, I'm just waiting. You know, nothing's... don't have too many flowers yet. Just waiting. Uh, and such. Yeah, I just, you know, I've got stuff planted and it's all happening a little bit, but just, you know, yeah, nothing's happening. So, yeah, these are a bunch of hibiscus in here and they didn't do too well. Yeah, you know, all these little sticks were supposed to be live plants. That one's still green, so that one's still hope. And yeah, they didn't, uh, they didn't do too well. So that was a horrible, terrible... I mean, I invested a lot of time in these damn things. See, these are all dead. Yeah, it's disappointing. Yeah, it's roots rotted. Yeah, rose or something. Yeah, all rotten. Damn it. Hey, yeah, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> it takes three years before they flower, you know? And so, just... I wanted to get into the grow hibiscus plants business. <laughs> yeah. So, but you gotta learn, right? <clears throat> yep. Learning curve. Anyway. True. Um, let's see if there's anything else out here to talk about. Uh, anything new? So, um, yeah. it's getting better over here. They made a new mess, so I had to clean up that. But yeah, I just took all the stuff that's valuable, so I lost a thousand bucks and blah blah blah. Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, not much here. Columbines. Kind of a nice flower, actually. But it droops down, you know? So, 
I mean, it's really an interesting flower, but it's, you know, you can't see it because it's doing this droopy thing. So, I guess you have to just plant them and then put them really high. So this ought to be interesting to see how these do. I cut them all, you know, top them. So it should make a nice hedge. Maybe. And uh, such. So, yeah, that's enough. This thing did really well, this uh, azalea. Two weeks of, three weeks of pretty good flowers. Ah, sorry, Mello. Stay. It's okay. Nobody's going to bother you. Still looks kind of ratty. <laughs> yeah. It really is a crime. You know, people get these cats and then they dump them or whatever they do. I mean, it's an You know, he shouldn't be out in the wild. He's got too much hair. It's ticks all over his face. It's just terrible. <sighs> people. Well, I thought that was some other news, but I guess not. So, <sighs> smell pink. I didn't bring anything painty in here. I really smell it. Anyway, okay, now that's enough nonsense and shit. So, till the next time, and such, and so forth and whatnot. Yeah.